Hey guys, I recently bought me a, a set of used drums. You can see these drums are already partially clean. They were kind of rough when I got them, kind of rough and dirty. And the lugs, I've already cleaned. And on the shells, I just use a good, decent wax. But the best way to do this is really to take apart as much of this as possible. You really don't have to take off the lugs to get to the chrome, but you do have to take off the rims and the heads to get things really good and clean. So I'm gonna zoom in and show you just what these look like. So here's what I'm talking about here. You can see we've actually got some mild pitting going on here and uh, a bit of corrosion. I don't know how many years of corrosion is on here, how long these have been sitting or where they've been sitting, but they have been sitting for a while and they're a bit dirty. If you can see if you rub on it, it starts to come off, but not all of it. What I'm using to clean this chrome is this right here. I've had this bottle of chrome cleaner for quite a while, about 20 years I think I've had this. It's the same stuff as what they have now, except it's in a green bottle. But this Turtle Wax Chrome Polish and Rust Remover is just amazing, and it works great, well, on any type of chrome, really. You're using this on your car, on any of the chrome, it's gonna work great. It doesn't work good at all on aluminum. It doesn't work good, on, good at all on just about anything else I've tried. So for a drummer, it doesn't work on cymbals, and you certainly don't wanna use it on the painted or any of the the wrap that's on your drums it's just going to scratch it up but this thing this this is almost like magic when it comes to the chrome and you hardly have to work at all it just it almost like it dissolves the oxidation on the chrome so let me show you this you can see how bad these are we actually got some rust starting to form on this rim so like i said it's been sitting for a while and this is some pitting just starting on here i prefer to use a, a, a scotch bright pad that's been worn worn down quite a bit. I mean, even though the chrome is really hard and durable, I don't want to take any chance of scratching it. So with the Scotsbrite and just a bit of this uh, polish, and it doesn't take much, I mean, you don't have to scrub. Let the polish do all the work, but you can see that rust on there. So I'm just gonna start just lightly. I'm not pressing at all. Literally, I'm not pressing at all and I'm letting the polish do the work and, and I'm letting the Scotsbrite just take care of the rough edges. I'm just trying, to, but the only work I'm doing is squeezing into the groove, squeezing into the cracks. And I can feel right here where it's, where it's rusting. You can see that spot. I don't know if it's gonna take all of that out. So I'm gonna press a little bit harder to where that rust spot is, or shall I say was, because it's gone or just about completely gone now. Pressing a little bit hard right there. And there's another spot up under the rim. Let's see if I can get around here. There's a dark spot right in here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna press kind of hard here. So I'm gonna press there and see if I can get that out. But normally, you don't have to press at all. Just lightly rub across here like I'm doing the rest of it. And uh, it's gonna get off that oxidation. So I'm gonna get my buffing towel here. So what do you think about that? Now you can see what I look like. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? From that dirty old piece of heavily oxidized chrome to that. Let's do one more spot. Now on this, you've got to be careful. I made the mistake on this. There's a decal. You can see where it says the Pearl Super Hoop. And I went over that on one of the rims and it just took that printing right off of there. So if you want to keep that printing or keep that label as an identifier, you don't want to take the chrome polish over the top of that. It just instantly takes that printing right off. So let's move over here and I'll show you. And I'm just going to lightly press on that. Get a little bit more of that polish on there. Here we got a nice dirty area. And I'm just, I'm not even pressing. I'm just letting the Scotsbrite just glide over the top of that rim and I am not pressing at all. There's a couple of rust spots in there but I'm not going to press because I want to show you just how easy this is. Let's get our towel in and wipe this stuff off. That thing looks brand new. 
that amazing? I just don't know how to describe that. I hope this camera is doing justice, but it really, it looks that good. It's amazing. So that's how easy it is to clean the chrome on your drum set or your car, your motorcycle, whatever. But I've been using this stuff for a long time and a little bit goes a long way. Like I said, I've been using this bottle for 20 years. So I'll put a link in the description showing you can buy the newer bottle of this. But yeah, this stuff is amazing. So hopefully this helps you out with your drums, your car, your motorcycle or whatever. But this stuff is amazing. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys in the next video.